provide different style room options. On a less complex idea, it is important to consider offering different styles of rooms at appropriate rates. Some students might only be comfortable in private rooms or rooms with two to three people and will be willing to pay this price. Others will be okay in a community room but will prefer a gender distinction. Then, others might be fine with a communal space that does not distinguish between male and female. If you want to attract students, be sure to offer a variety that they will be comfortable with and willing to pay for. Include cost-effective amenities that students want. Including amenities to attract students to your hostel will look different than what hotels generally do to attract their average guest. Prioritize what students value most to attract this crowd. A few options that make your hostel cost-effective and attractive to students include the following. Free Wi-Fi, essential for hostel digital marketing, social media posts, WhatsApp for students calling slash texting home. Free locker storage. In-house bar slash breakfast options, even if additional charge. Community room, game table, picnic tables, etc. Bunks with curtains, and lockers, in communal rooms to offer privacy and security. Free social events calendar. Late checkout available. Flexible check-in, or willingness to hold luggage before check-in. Unique decor, think lounge area that has a prime Instagram aesthetic or even a recommended photo spot with previous guests' photos printed out. Mark it how easily accessible your hostel is, to popular nearby sites, slash locations. Sometimes you cannot control where you are able to purchase a property. If you are able to choose a location for your hostel, be sure to place it near the most popular attractions. Students will enjoy the ease of walking or taking easy-to-use public transportation to local sites. If you are not able to choose a location that is nearby popular sites, or even if you are, be sure to include an access guide that shows your future guests how long it takes to get from place to place. You can include common suggestions like, how long it takes to walk to ABC Cafe, or it costs 1.50 euro, and 15 minutes to get from the nearest metro station to XYZ stop. This helps students to make the quick and easy decision of choosing your hostel as it has a prime location that is easily accessible to the sites that they want to see. 5 Hostel Marketing Tips So, this article has discussed how to use network marketing to your advantage in your youth hostel business plan as well as how to attract students to your hostel. With this insight, you might be concerned about how to narrow this down into manageable pieces. Use these five hostel marketing ideas to successfully market your youth hostel business. Maintain a professional digital presence. Engage your local and digital community. Give generously to travel bloggers with devoted followers. Stay true to your vision and values. Create opportunities for community and conversation. There are plenty of strategies for marketing your youth hostel, but these are some of the most important ones to remember. It is imperative that you and your team consistently work together and come up with new ideas that will engage your hostel business as well as your local community. Maintain a professional digital presence. As discussed above, maintaining your professional digital presence is essential to marketing your youth hostel. This is where and how future guests decide to stay or not to stay at your hostel. If they do not like what they see or cannot easily access the information they are searching for, they will quickly move on to the next place. Keep your professional website and social media accounts up to date. Engage your local and digital community. When marketing your youth hostel, be sure to engage in your local community. Use network marketing to create a web of local businesses that help and support one another. Engage in your digital community through social media interactions and maintaining up-to-date information. Keeping a positive presence can help to attract positive guests. Give generously to travel bloggers with devoted followers. 
Invite bloggers who have a consistent travel following to stay at your place for free. Choose a blogger that has a quality amount of followers who are interested in travel rather than an account with a large, but irrelevant following. People follow what they want to see, a meme account for humor, interior decorating for design inspiration, travel accounts for travel recommendations, etc. By reaching out to a travel blogger with 4,000 followers and a high interaction rate, you will be more likely to see success when they share about your hostel than if you were to pay someone in the interior design industry, with thousands of followers, to give you a shout out. Relevance is key, here, so choose wisely and give generously to those who support you. Stay true to your vision and values. Your vision is what brought you to plan your youth hostel in the first place. Be sure to determine what you and your business will stand for and stand by those values proudly. Students will read authenticity, and will be drawn to it. Plus, by staying in line with your vision and values, you will the type of students that you hope to attract to your hostel. Create opportunities for community and conversation. Not only do students want community building opportunities, but this is an essential purpose that travel can hold. People travel to gain an appreciation of the world around them, among other reasons. In choosing to foster this opportunity, your guests will have a positive experience in your hostel worthy of sharing with their friends and family. The travel world will be better for it. Now, let's shift into how to plan your hostel website for promotion. Planning your website for promotion. As you begin to prepare your youth hostel business plan, you will most certainly need to consider how you market yourself on the web. There are many details involved in this phase that you will not want to miss. How do you plan your website for promotion? This involves a series of well thought out decisions including goal setting, mission defining, audience targeting, and detailed planning. Creating your website includes content, themes, hosting, keywords, and more. Then, monetize your website with affiliate opportunities, a vertical and upsell, and a product. With this, you will be able to make the website pay for itself, in its upkeep and promotion. It is important to research how to promote your website to your target audience. Without these steps, your site will remain unsearchable, unranked, and limited in its influence to new customers, hostel guests. Continue reading to learn more about creating and monetizing your hostel website. For more information, be sure to opt into the free email guide 14 Steps to Diversify Hostel Income in the Digital Space. How to Create a Hostel Website Before you begin working on your digital presence, you will need to understand how a website can help your business to succeed, or not. Having the knowledge of making your website work for you, and not the other way around, is critical in using it as a business tool. How do you create a hostel website? You will first want to research the content that you need on your site. Then, choose a web hosting platform, find hostel keywords, choose a WordPress, or other, theme, and write slash outsource content creation. Create a site that reflects the style of your youth hostel both in the images and content that you include. Since your youth hostel's website is the first impression that many of your future guests will get, it is important to get this right. Certainly, you will need to do this right. As mentioned above, not only will you need to place your hostel on a standard hostel booking site, but your personally owned website needs to be aesthetically pleasing, up-to-date, and professional. Creating a hostel website. Research content first. One thing that many people, who have never created a website before, do not know is how much the content matters. Not only will your website market your branding efforts, but it will provide your future clients with the information they are searching for. And, if it does not, then they will likely not be your future clients. Content on a website is critical for a few reasons. It helps to inform your viewer, 
provides answers to questions that may arise, points to information that cannot be found elsewhere, and helps your website to rank higher or become more searchable. Having the right content is just as important as having enough content. To determine what content you need to have on your website in order to make it profitable, and rank, and help your business to succeed is critical. Missing this step can render your efforts practically useless as your website will result on the 36th, or beyond, page of Google search is a page that no user will ever take the time to make it to. So, you need to research the content that should go on your hostel website. Be sure to reference other youth hostels to see what the industry standard is. Then, add additional, relevant, content that can help to bolster your site above the competition. If someone searches for a youth hostel in your local area, your site can rank higher on searches yielding a greater likelihood that someone will click on your link. Additionally, once a potential client makes it to your site, they are going to want to be able to find the information quickly. Using an appropriate design is important, and having the answers to their questions is necessary. Creating a site with irrelevant content can confuse a viewer and cause them to jump ship from your site to your competitions. Then, because of a poorly designed and limited website, you have lost a potential guest at your youth hostel. You can also choose to hire someone to create a hit list for you with commonly searched for articles and answers. Another option is enrolling in income school. This can help you to learn all about creating and monetizing a website to help your youth hostel business to flourish. Income School will also open you to a community of bloggers and YouTubers who can help you to achieve creating a website that works as a tool for you to succeed. Instead of spending hours and hours behind a screen trying to work on your website, you can learn how to make your youth hostel business's website work for you and spend your time with your hostel guests. How to find hostel keywords Another important component of creating your hostel website is using appropriate hostel keywords. This will help your site to rank higher on search engines. Thus, you will see profitable results as you book more guests and can even monetize your website. Of course, maximizing your influence in the digital realm is key here. You can find more on that by opting into the free email guide 14 steps to diversify hostel income in the digital space. Using appropriate keywords, both in your search engine and in the content you create, can help in two main ways, you will create a helpful tool for your viewer, and your site will receive much greater traffic. In creating content for your hostel website, you are not limited to the booking experience of the hostel itself. Instead, think outside of the box and include articles on other subjects. Viewers can find your website through standard hostel booking sites, direct links, and clicking your link when it appears as a high-ranking link to their search. By adding articles that are relevant to your city and popular destinations in your area, you maximize the opportunity for being found in an indirect search. For example, if you are creating a business plan for a youth hostel in Paris, then you need to include articles about popular destinations like the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, and other famous Parisian experiences. Using keywords in these articles related to popularly searched destinations, attractions, travel itineraries, and beyond can help you to see more traffic, and, thus, profits, from your site. Considering every other hostel in your area will have content related to best hostel to stay at in XYZ city, it is best to add additional content that helps search engines to recognize yours as a top result. To find hostel keywords, you can outsource this task, such as through finding someone involved in the community related to income school, or you can search for the results yourself. One way to find keywords for your hostel website is by searching for industry standards. Then, using the Google results that show people also ask, you can begin to create a list generated around what popular subjects come up. Begin with destinations, travel topics, popular local tourist attractions, backpacking and tour ideas, and move on. Hostel WordPress theme 
If you are unfamiliar with hostile web development or hostile web design in the first place, then this might seem like a strange and intimidating venture to embark on. After all, the influence that your website will have on guests choosing to stay, or not stay, at your youth hostel can feel like a pending doom. To relieve some of this pressure, you can use, or hire someone to use, a hostel management system WordPress theme to create your site. WordPress themes work with WordPress to help create a user-friendly website. These are especially helpful for those who have never worked in the world of web development or design. The WordPress theme acts as a template that you can place all of the information that you hope to use on your site. Customization is key as you create a site that reflects your vision and mission of your youth hostel. To neglect this in your youth hostel business plan would be to ensure negative results in your business. However, done well, creating a site that reflects your uniqueness and what your youth hostel has to offer can result in profitable results and happy guests. There are several different options for hostel WordPress themes. You can search around for which one you like in terms of style and user friendliness. These will obviously be very important if you plan to maintain your own site, though you can always outsource this responsibility, too. A few options like Elegant Themes and Studio Press Themes are incredible places to start. These use drag and drop features that make designing and including the critical components of your site a breeze. Studio Press uses Genesis Framework which is popular in the industry, but you can learn more about that by reviewing a few options. Instead of spending hours, or hiring someone to spend hours, creating a digitally impressive, but technologically unnecessary, site, you can use these customizable options to get the best of both worlds, professional design at the, inexperienced, touch of a button. When choosing what type of WordPress theme to go with for your youth hostel business, you will want to consider a few things. First, you need to know who is going to be designing and managing your website. This is critical as you will need to be confident that this person knows how to work whatever you end up choosing. Next, you need to consider your style and what that says about your youth hostel business. This is an important piece to include in your youth hostel marketing plan. The style that you choose for your website should reflect a similar aesthetic that your hostel, itself, reflects. If you are more focused on socialization and funky music, you can choose a theme that is organized with pops of color or exciting features. If you prefer a sleek, modern feel, then both your hostel and your hostel's website should reflect this. Whatever speaks to you and influences the direction of your youth hostel and its respective website should become a good reflection of one another. After choosing who will work your site and what style you would like to go with, you will need to consider the logistics of content inclusion. An average visitor to your website will not spend more than 10 seconds on the initial page if they do not like what they see, and they cannot easily find what they are looking for. Making the landing page an easy, appealing page is critical for your digital first impressions. If this sounds a bit overwhelming, then be sure to opt into the free email guide 14 steps to diversify hostel income in the digital space for information more tailored to that arena. Finally, you will work with the WordPress theme you select to begin adding in all of the necessary information. Including information like your rate, amenities, room type, location, contact information, and recommended travel, among other information as discussed above, is essential for someone to book their stay at your youth hostel. Be sure to include your contact information as well as your physical address. This helps your youth hostel to pop up on common search engines and apps like Google Maps. The more easily searchable your youth hostel is, the more likely someone will find it and book their stay with you. Using professional, fun-filled photos on your site will be attractive to youth who desire to stay at your youth hostel, too. Then, of course, you will choose a WordPress theme that allows you to connect your site to your social media accounts. From here, your guests, and future guests, can continually follow your youth hostel and dream of their initial visits and returns. Outsourcing Content 
Outsourcing content on your youth hostel's website could be one of the most lucrative investments you make into the construction of your site. After all, if building a youth hostel website is not your cup of tea in the first place, then outsourcing should be up your alley. But, even if creating content is something that you find yourself skilled at, it might not be the best use of your time. Hopefully, when you begin to see success in your youth hostel business, you will be so busy with the day-to-day -day management of your business that you do not have the time for content creation. These are just two of the many examples of why outsourcing your content can be a great decision. Your time can truly be evaluated for money, and in this industry, creating up-to-date content might just be something that is worth paying someone else to do. What type of content should you outsource for your website? There is not a limit to what you can outsource for your site. Using an experienced copywriter or a professional company to supply you with appropriate content takes the strain off of you having to do this yourself. There are really no limits to this. One recommended source of content creation to maintain is a blog that is affiliated with your youth hostel site. A blog is a great way to gain loads of traffic onto your site without the direct approach of booking. Consider this, if you write a blog post about the best breakfast spots in XYZ City or what to wear in the summer in XYZ City, and someone searches for this information, then they have the opportunity to stumble upon your main hostel website. However, if the only content on your site pertains to the direct booking information, then this person might not have ever found your site. People find websites for places to stay in a variety of ways. Some use standard hostel booking services and go along their route picking out places that meet their budget. But others use the recommendations they find scattered throughout the internet. Maintaining a blog with well thought out and well researched content can bring in serious waves of new volume of traffic for your hostel's website. To outsource content for your youth hostel's website, be sure to research what types of content you need to include. Then, create a hit list of articles to be written for your site. From there, be sure to upload the content regularly and keep the information up to date so that search engines will find your site relevant enough to make the top search results. You can outsource any of the above tasks, too. Specifically for content, though, you can hire copywriters from various spaces, as many work independently, or you can choose to go through a reputable agency. You can even use services like Airweber to craft professional emails to keep subscribers up to date. Where you go with this will largely depend on your budget and your willingness to work with contractors. Some independent contractors and some agencies will have prices and guidelines that might not meet what you are looking for. Be sure to check the reviews of the copywriters you plan to work with if you are outsourcing the content creation. If you choose an inexpensive source but do not have high standards, you might find yourself proofing the grammatical errors that were made all along the way. Then, instead of saving time by outsourcing the content, you will end up spending more time correcting inaccurate or ill-suited content for your site. Since the content is what will bring, and keep, viewers on your site, getting this step right might be best to leave to an experienced content creator. Web hosting for hostel websites. Unless you plan on creating your own server and have the skills and capacity to do so, then you are going to need to look into your options for a web host for your hostel website. Fortunately for you, there are plenty of options out there that will make this a simple, efficient, and cost-effective process. What is web hosting? Web hosts build and maintain servers to host myriads of websites on. As a server is required for maintaining a domain's presence on the internet, web hosts provide an avenue for their clients to see their sites up and running. Then, when someone searches for a site, their computer will receive the website's information, data, photos, etc., from the server that the site is hosted on. In essence, if you do not have a server, yourself, then you need to seek out a web host that can take care of this technological aspect for your business. Then, 
Your hostel website will be searchable on the internet and all of the information should be accessible to your site visitors. One of the top web hosting services for hostel websites, and other websites, is Bluehost. This company is one of the largest of its kind and hosts over 2 million sites, domains, that remain live today. This web hosting service is great for hostels because it comes highly rated and is also a host for WordPress sites. While you can choose to use another type of website, WordPress is extremely common and is almost considered to be the industry standard for hostel websites. This might not always be the case, but its ease of use among other features helps hostel business owners to navigate towards this option when creating their hostel's website. When you are choosing a web hosting service for your hostel's website, be sure to review what types of services they offer, how much their hosting costs, and their reputation. With a company as large as Bluehost, for example, you should not have to worry about the server going down and your site becoming, even temporarily, inaccessible. Instead, the team that they have will be working to ensure success on their hosting service, aka an operating server, that, in turn, ensures that they get paid for doing their job. This means that you can rely on the company to keep your site live so that you do not experience any difficulties in people searching for and accessing your youth hostel website. Other ways to monetize your hostel website. If you are working hard to ensure success on your hostel website, then you might be considering how to make this time more profitable. Fortunately for you, you can monetize the website in ways other than just getting future guests to make a reservation for a few nights. How do you monetize your hostel website? Outside of content creation and associated strategies promoting guests to find your hostel and book a stay, you can monetize your hostel website in a few ways. These include using affiliate opportunities, creating a new vertical and upsell, and building a product. You can outsource these tasks for your site's benefit. Not only will the bookings, that future guests complete, add value to your site and business as a whole, but these other opportunities allow you to make secondary, and beyond, income streams. Including these in your youth hostel business plan will take your business to the next level. Be sure to opt into the free email guide here that can help you to make the most profitable decisions for your digital presence. Affiliate Opportunities Affiliate opportunities are becoming more and more common on standard sites. By working with other companies that your site visitors might be interested in, you can become an affiliate and get paid to make a digital referral. This is generally pretty simple and only involves including a link to the affiliate site. Then, when your site guest clicks on this link, and generally if they buy a product, you will receive a small profit. Create a new vertical and upsell. Creating a new vertical and upselling are classic business techniques that you can use to expand the capital on your website. Instead of solely focusing on booking, you can include other opportunities within your industry that your hostel guests might be interested in. For example, you could include a deluxe package that includes a drink coupon at your in-house bar, or a discounted pass to a tour that is guided by a local company. Expanding your market, especially digitally, can help to make your website profitable. Building a product. If you are feeling creative, or someone on your team is, you can build a product that your site visitors can purchase while they are looking at making their reservation. This can be as simple as providing a t-shirt, sticker, or digital printout with a neat logo, or inspirational design. Regardless, the goal here is to include another opportunity for your site, and hostel, guests to make a meaningful purchase one that benefits them and is profitable for you. Reservation and Accounting Tools When you get into the fine details of creating your youth hostel business plan, you will need to make room to choose reservation and accounting tools. There are many to decide from, and the process can seem complicated. What should you look for in reservation and accounting tools for your hostel? Hostel management software can be broken down into three main functions, accounting, booking, and reservations. 
pay attention to features like automatic billing, channel management, front and back of house operations, ease of use, customizability, and number of users are permitted for simultaneous use. You will likely find that competing software programs will offer many of the same features. However, while one might have a great setup for a large hotel with a bar, shop, and casino attached, others might be structured to fit the needs of your 100-bed hostel. To make this easier, let's talk about what to specifically look for in each of the categories that we have discussed. Hostel Management Software If you have never opened your own hostel before, you might not know what to look for with Hostel Management Software. It might all seem the same to you, so you might just look for the cost. There is more to it than the cost and ease of use. What are the best hostel management software systems to use? Hostel management software can be categorized as hostel accounting software, QuickBooks, FreshBooks, Nimble Property, hostel booking software, Cloud Beds, Beds24, WebRes Pro, and hostel reservation software, Cloud Beds Online Booking Manager, Banana Desk. Some systems can do all three components effectively. Each of these systems offers you the ability to manage your guests' reservations, complete their booking process, and manage your hostel effectively through hostel management system templates. This includes the behind-the-scenes components as well as the ones that you will train your staff to use when they check a guest in. Diving into each category, we can take a further look at what each does and generate a list of the top recommended software systems in each category, though some crossover. Hostel Accounting Software Hostel accounting software is what will help to keep your finances organized. Not only will you be tracking and logging daily inputs and outputs in terms of expenses, but you will want to see your profitability and any trends that you can find. This will all help with the success of your hostel business in the short term and the long term. After all, keeping track of your finances is one of the most essential functions of any business. Though many do not come into the hostel business with any accounting experience, there are tools to help. Fortunately for you, the creators of these systems recognize that accounting might not be your strong suit. What do hostel accounting software systems do? Instead of spending hours upon hours learning the system, Hostel accounting software engineers have created user-friendly versions of their software to ease this burden. Though, if you are not skilled at accounting, it is a wise investment to hire someone who can handle the finances of your hostel operation responsibly and effectively. If this is messed up, your business will inevitably fail. What do hostel accounting software systems do? Hostel accounting software systems allow you to receive and input data regarding expenses. They allow you to accept payment and run analytics and trends on your financial data. These digital systems take an old school bookkeeper's spreadsheet to the next level in elevating your financial success. Incorporating hostel accounting software into your youth hostel business plan is an essential function if you want to run a youth hostel business. You have to have some way to keep track of your finances and budget. Otherwise, you will not be able to pay your bills, your guests' information could be lost or filed incorrectly, and you could see the negative repercussions of mismanaged finances inevitably resulting in a failing business. Choosing a hostile accounting software system As you scroll online and sort through various accounting software systems, you will notice that some were created for general business accounting purposes. Then, others were designed specifically for hostels. It is up to you which you choose, but you might find that the ones designated for hostel use provide exactly what you are looking for. Choosing a hostel accounting software system should be just as much about the system as it is about you using it. If you have a high-tech system that you have significant difficulties learning, then the system will not be a tool for you. You will want to select a system that meets your ability to use it and one that has customer service support for when you are unsure of what to do. The following are components that you will need to consider when choosing a hostel accounting software system. Determine the number of beds, daily reservations, 
that the software will need to account for. The size of your hostel is going to make a large impact on the type of accounting software that you need. For example, if you are operating a 20-bed hostel, with entirely private or entirely community rooms, this will be far different than your needs for operating a 400-bed hostel. This will go in your youth hostel business plan, and the hostel operating spreadsheet will look far different. The number of beds that you have will obviously influence the number of daily reservations that you need to account for. In determining which accounting software system will work best for you, you can figure out how many daily, monthly, yearly, transactions you will need to process. Determine the number of users who will need to access the software at the same time. Not only will you need to know how many guests you can house in your hostel, but you will need to determine the number of employees that you will have working for you at any given time. From there, you can choose a software that allows access based on the size and type of access you wish to grant. You will find that some employees, like your front of house staff, will only need to access portions of the accounting software. While some hostel accounting software systems permit 1 to 5 users on a basic plan, others allow you to add an unlimited number of users to your system. Instead of relying on a hostel Excel sheet, you can choose a software system that creates a more user-friendly version for you and tracks data accordingly. Determine the frequency of transactions on the software. The frequency of transactions will inform the capacity size for the accounting software system that you use. As referenced above, the number of beds that you have in your hostel, as well as any in-house perks, will influence this frequency. Your accounting software needs to be able to maintain up-to-date information on all transactions from bookings that take place overnight to the tour payment that your guest receives from the front desk staff. Test the user-friendliness of the software. You could have the most technologically sound accounting software on the planet, but if you are unable to use it because it is not user-friendly, and you are a first-time user, then this advanced system becomes a moot point. Find an accounting software system that is easy for you to use. You might need to undergo some training provided by the company that you are purchasing the system from. And, some companies even offer free trials so that you are able to test out the waters before making the big purchase. Decide if you will have additional services besides the initial booking that will need to be incorporated. Many hostels offer different community building opportunities within their complex which is highly attractive to young travelers. Some of these opportunities include an in-house bar, or a tour offered by a residential staff, or a contracted local business person. With this, you need to find an interface that allows you to process payments and receipts quickly and easily. Using a hostel management system in Excel is totally possible, but this can be like using a checkbook and logging your transaction manually. With an accounting software system, your information will be housed online, and it will be processed immediately. Search for software that provides access to analytics and trends within your business. You are going to want to maintain an understanding of what is helping you to succeed and what is holding you back. Having a hostile accounting software system that can show you the analytics and trends of your financial data will help you to see just that. While some systems require you to input data in order to see trends, others will automatically provide you with spreadsheets of your data to review. If your hostel was incredibly profitable during a certain season, or if certain community events like bar crawls or yoga sessions inspired bookings, then you know to repeat these practices. In the same mindset, if there were downward trends, then you will be able to know what practices you can drop and move on from. Compare pricing options based on the size of your hostel and your accounting needs. While it is listed last on this list, price is likely not last on your mind, nor should it be, when looking at which hostel accounting software system to choose. The pricing options vary greatly from system to system, and there are often pricing variations available within each system, too. For example, you might find that there is a premium package available that allows you to expand your services. In choosing what is right for you, 
One of the best ways to tell is to do a free trial. Look at services you are able to take advantage of on one level before deciding if you will need more or fewer options. Then, go from there in determining how advanced or simple of a system you will need.